Hi everyone, uh, Kelsey here with coverage presented by Omni Slash. I'm here with Clutch Gaming's Apollo, who just came off a really convincing win against TSM. So this game was a little different than last week's game, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think uh, last one was kind of a uh, little lucky, I think, as most people would call it. Uh, but we, I think we kind of changed our game plan a little bit this time. We drafted like more of an early game composition, and they were extremely greedy. They had like a really big team fight. So like when you look at it on paper, it's like, oh my god, they have like Tristana, Zier, and Sejuani, and like all these scary champions for a team fight. But I think we drafted appropriately. We had like an early game, and we just tried to dominate them from like lane phase and not team fight them straight on. And I think we did a really good job this time. So speaking on the draft a little bit, I noticed that Zoe was let through, and so Febbevin got that to himself. Were you guys planning for this to happen, or were you surprised that it got let through? Uh, we, we knew that was going to happen. We had a scenario where like we would have to probably trade Azir and Zoe, and we were comfortable both ways. We just, I mean, it was a little bit surprising that they gave it to us, but at the same time, I, I'm sure they, you know, they draft or they uh, plan accordingly, right? They, I think they wanted to play against Zoe, but. Zoe's a broken champion, so here we are. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I don't know. I don't know if anyone wants to play against Zoe, but okay. So now that you've gone up against TSM twice and you have competed against the best bot lane in the West, what do you think about your performance against them and that compared to the rest of the bot lanes in NA? I mean, okay, best bot lane in the West is kind of a meme, but I think they're really strong. Uh, I think the way. Like just the way they play, didn't really feel like they could do much in the in that game. They had, like I said, like a really scaling heavy bot lane, and then they didn't play them around them at all. Like they kind of just stacked bot lane. Eventually, we just got the turret by ourselves. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to say. Like obviously, after a win, they do look worse, right? But that's just like natural. Um, I think like all the bot lane or like the top teams right now, like the C9, TL, and like Echo Fox. I think they're performing like their bot lanes are performing better than them right now, but. You know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes because I think once TSM gets back in a form, or if they get better, then they'll start to look better as well. Okay, so it's now the second round robin. You've started it off, and now that we are done with week five, day two, you guys have gone four and zero in the last two weeks. So yay! <laughs> uh, what's the game plan now for Clutch? Do you guys have something in mind for the rest of the games, or, or actually, do you guys see yourself in the finals? <laughs> That's a little bit. <laughs> that that kind of jumped. My bad. Okay, and we can we can we can break this up. So what's what's the game plan for the rest of the season? Right. We'll start with that. Uh, the game plan is, I think. Well, we are just looking at one match at a time, right? Uh, obviously, we're planning on getting to playoffs. I think we, this 2-0, actually this 4-0, I guess, like really helped us solidify that. I think as long as we play, you know, we play well throughout the rest of the season. Um, but right now we're just looking at the top teams, I think, like C9, Echo Fox, and TL. Like those are big competitors to like prove that we can actually play against them. So we just have to work, still work on our mistakes because, I mean, like even though we beat TSM, right, they, we went against like Optic and FlyQuest and they weren't, you know, they're not like, uh, they're like middle of the pack or like lower tier teams right now. So I think we still have to prove ourselves against the big, uh, top teams. So now going back to my question, <laughs> do you guys think that there's a possibility of you guys making the finals? I think there is. I mean, right now it's like it's kind of hard to say. I don't think if you know if we were going to playoffs as we speak, you know, I think it'd be hard for us to get in the finals. I think the other teams are so much better. But the way we're playing right now, I think we're improving a lot. We kind of showed that. Yeah, we had like an O2 week, but then we picked it up, and we just. I mean, we're we're improving on the mistakes that we made on stage, and I think that's really important if we wanted to get into like the finals right now. All right. Well, is there anything else you would like to say to your fans out there? Uh, thank you guys for supporting us, and you know I hope you keep this win straight going. And yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. Oh well, thank you for the interview, and good luck to you. For everything else esports, you can check out the YouTube page and the videos below. Oh hey, um, you might remember me from Travis's video when I was stealing fruit from the LCS, and yeah, that's kind of the only reason I come here. But anyways, while you're here, thank you for watching. Subscribe, and thank you to Omni Slash for supporting.